Hi, this is an instructional video on how to program your AutoSlide 10 digit wireless keypad to your AutoSlide unit. So when you're first starting to program this to your unit, it's going to have the factory default codes of 11, 11 for channel 1, the left arrow button, and 22 for channel 2, the right arrow button. So these two channels can be used to connect two different units, or they can be used as two different passcodes for the same unit. So to program channel one to your unit, you're going to press sensor learn, and then the passcode for channel one, which is one one right now because we haven't changed it yet. And then we're going to press sensor learn again, one one again, and then enter that in using the left arrow key. And now channel one is paired to this unit. So if I enter in the passcode, one one, it will trigger the unit to open. Now, if we want to pair channel 2 to this unit, then we would enter in the passcode for channel 2 after pressing sensor learn. So, we would press sensor learn, and then end passcode for channel 2, which is the factory default, 2, 2, because we haven't changed it yet. And then sensor learn again, and then 2, 2 again. And now channel 2 is learned to this unit. So I enter in 2, 2 and it will trigger the unit to open. And that is how you program your 10 a keypad to an auto slide unit. This segment of the video will show you how to change the passcodes for your auto slide wireless 10 a keypad. So we currently have the passcodes set to 1-1 for channel 1 and 2-2 two, two for channel 2, the factory default passcodes. So let's say we want to change channel 1 to 1-2-3-4. One, we're going to hold down the zero button and then the enter key of which channel we want to change, which is channel one. Hold down zero, pressing the left arrow key. The long beep shows it's ready to change the passcode. We're entering one, one, the current passcode. And then we're going to enter in one, two, three, four, the new passcode we want. And then enter it in again, one, two, three, four. That long beep shows that the passcode has now been changed to 1234. So we're going to enter that in. And the long beep shows that the password is accepted. If we wanted to change channel 2 from the default factory code of 22 to, say, 5678, it's the same process except reversed for the other side. So we hold down 0 and press the enter key for channel 2. That long beep shows it's ready. We enter in the current passcode of 22, two, and then 5678, the passcode we want, and then 5678 again, entered in again with channel 2 enter key. The long beep shows that it has been accepted. So now the passcode for channel 2 is 5678. And if we wanted to show this on the unit, let me just put this unit into green mode. If we enter in, and this has of course already been paired to this unit, we enter in one, two, three, four for channel one, the unit will trigger. And if we enter in five, six, seven, eight, and enter channel two, the unit will trigger. And that is how you change the passcodes for your auto slide 10 digit wireless keypad. For this portion of the video, I'll be covering how to replace your security keypad batteries. Now you'll know that your security keypad batteries need to be replaced by hearing a series of 10 rapid beeping sounds. This is the uh, signal which tells you to replace the batteries because the batteries are dying. So the first step to replacing your batteries for your security keypad are simply to remove the blue covering you have over here to gain access to the screws beneath it. So I'm going to use something small like our auto slide screwdrivers that come with all the kits. And then I'm going to place the screwdriver in a small uh, gap right here, right beneath the blue panel. I'm just going to pry the blue panel off. So with the blue panel off now, you'll see the gray backing and then also the two Allen wrench screws. Um, using the appropriate size Allen wrench to unscrew the screws from the casing.
and then once you remove the second or the final one, uh, oh, be sure not to lose your screws. Once you remove the two screws, the back will actually pop off. So now it look the backing of your security keypad looks like this. So now just put this aside for now. Grab some sort of device that you can use to untwist this plastic cap over here. Open it up and then pry it out. Once that's out, you'll see the batteries inside. Now to remove the batteries, all you need to do is get your finger and see this little metal uh, piece that sticks onto the battery. Just peel it off a little bit so that it's bent open and then pull out your two batteries. And then the once you have your new batteries, all you need to do is grab the two batteries. And remember the flat end, so this end, with the type of battery, which is CR2032, which you can see right there. Uh, you The flat side must remain facing you. So one at a time, flat side facing you. And the graded side is, of course, going to be facing the inside of the um, keypad. Put the other one inside. But um, I noticed right off the bat that my batteries are no longer staying inside. So what you do now is you see the metal uh, piece that I told you about earlier. Uh, remove the batteries. Just press it down a little bit. And then place the batteries in one by one once more. That way, pressure will remain on the batteries once you're putting them back in. So now that we've put the batteries back in, we're going to get the plastic piece that covers it. And then using a tool, you're just going to lock into place. Then you're going to get the casing, put that back on. Then tighten the screws back in. So that's screw one. That's screw two. And then finally put the blue panel back on. So the end with no peg goes on first. Then push it back down onto the peg. Make sure it's nice and neat. And there we go. That's how to, that is how to replace your batteries for your security keypad.